Uh, here we are. Hello and welcome. Here we are in a VAWRX. Now, this VAWRX is a little bit special. Uh, we don't often see them with build motors. However, this one has one. So uh, lovingly put in by our friends at Dales. Uh, this car came to us for tuning and it came to us for tuning with, uh, like I said, a built motor, but it also has a stock turbo, a turbo back exhaust and the party piece of this car is a WMI system. Now, uh, we did a tune for pump gas, which turned as, as you would expect in these cars, uh, and now we're refining the tune for WMI. Now, we did um, make a nice, very nice looking curve here with WMI in fourth gear, so the customer wants as much power as possible for built motor, stock turbo, WMI. This faint line is the pump gas tune. Uh, this one has a peak of uh, 292 on our dyno, so it's about 340-ish, 330, 340 on a dyno jet. However, the meth, the party piece, gets us 352 on our dyno, on the stock turbo. Dyno jet numbers, because everyone uh, knows about those, we're looking at just about 400 wheel. Stock turbo, 2.0 built block VA. Great, right? Well, the, the curve is nice and flat. You've got a super, super torque curve. Uh, you've got horsepower that, that peaks just, uh, just before 6,000. So everything is actually looking good for a stock turbo, very good for a stock turbo. But when we stress test this car, which we do with all of our tunes that come through our shop, and what that means is that the dyno is able to load this car realistically as though you're dri driving it on the road. And when we do that, uh, knock pops up and the reason for this is because the methanol system which is an AM system it's, it's, an, it's a nice you know uh, methanol system 650 cc nozzle 50 50 mix the methanol system is just not quick enough to react to the increasing cylinder pressures of the car so uh, the pump has to spool up it has to deliver the fluid and by that time that happens especially because there's a stock turbo in it and it, it spools up pretty quickly especially if you are at a high RPM then the the timing and the boost uh, values so basically the cylinder pressure values that it reaches which are fine if the meth had been injecting now the meth is just coming on and that delay means that the engine will experience knock before the full flow of meth comes on this is a common issue with methanol cars so may look amazing on a single gear pull where this spool up area allows the pump, this time delay here, allows the pump, the meth pump to build up pressure and to deliver the fluid. So now you have meth flow through the entire power curve. If you come in at this point, the spool is much faster and the meth just simply cannot be delivered quickly enough to the engine and the same timing values and boost pressure values that are safe here with the meth already running are not safe just as the meth comes on. So what I've done is that I had to pull back a little bit uh, and now we're going to once again uh, run through uh, through this uh, stress test here and uh, show you guys kind of what uh, what we do to ensure that a customer's car is done correctly. We do tune this car, this particular one with ECU tech, EQ tech. Uh, we've tuned them with Cobb, of course, uh, and now we're dialoguing. So now the dyno basically is set up to mimic exactly how this car is going to behave on the road. We've got oil uh, temperature and pressure that are uh, very much appropriate to start stress testing the car. We've started the dyno, so now we're going to start loading up the car and watching what happens and dialoguing. So these are the kind of things that the customer will do with the car, will experience. And now we're just gonna do a little bit of data analysis and see how the car has performed 
and whether or not we need to pull back a little bit more for the same reasons that I mentioned. We can see here that there's just a tiny little bit of knock, nothing too serious, nothing too serious. The temperatures are getting a little higher. We're getting a little bit more knock here and then we have a bit of a dam drop. So we still have a little bit of work to do because um, it is it is still a little bit too aggressive and and you can see that the knock starts right here where it starts to pick it up just as the boost comes right up and we're running about 20 23 pounds of boost uh, at this point in this car and that's just a little bit too quick too soon um, for the meth to catch up in this region where we're just off the throttle of course the meth was not spraying so a little bit more work to do to get this dialed in and also um, it's important to understand exactly how these systems work in a car so that it's best optimized for exactly how you use the car because just a single pull on a dyno can get you amazing numbers but if you go out on the road and you don't have this properly set up and properly tested then your results are not going to be nearly as spectacular in a real world the comparison in power that we had to give up to account for this delay and we're talking about just 18 18 to 20 horsepower across the board that's the cost that's the cost of having a WMI system that has a delay in coming on now you have to make a decision for yourself do you want just a nice looking graph we'll give you a nice looking graph but on the street and on the track the car is not going to perform optimally if you do want it done properly, then you have to t take into account how the system responds, get it dialed in properly, get some real world data. We're able to do this on this dyno and go from there. So hopefully this was informational and this doesn't just apply to Subaru. This applies to any car that uses WMI system. Don't just do a full gear pull. Make sure that who you're working with uh, understands how these systems work and their limitations. And uh, if you want to work with us on any sort of tuning, then uh, please uh, do get in touch. Stratifyr.com. Keep following this channel. Check out our website for all the tuning support and parts that we have for these vehicles and others. And we'll catch you guys in the next one.